Hiya folks, Mr Simons here from Music of Kirklees. I wanted to use this opportunity to show you a few things about the bow hold and how you can improve ready for coming to string orchestra on a Wednesday evening. What we're finding is a lot of the students are coming and their bow hold has got a lot of tension in it with their little finger. Now if you play like this over a long period of time you're going to end up with tendonitis because everything in your arm here is really really tense. So, if you join me, I want you to just do something. Um, just put your hand into a, a, a little fist like this and keep everything nice and relaxed and just pretend you're knocking at the door. Now you can feel down here everything is nice and loose and there's no tension at all. Now I want you to do the same thing but this time spread your finger and thumb out like this. Okay, and now knock at the door. And you can now feel there was a lot of tension running all the way down here. And that's exactly the same as your bow hold. If you hold your bow with your little finger out like this, you are adding all of that tension plus the weight of the bow and it's all going down your little finger and the tendons here. So what we need to do is make sure that your little finger is on in this position, nice and bent on top. That will then allow you to play a lot of the material in orchestra and strings a lot easier, faster and also safer for yourself. So I'm going to show you a few exercises and a few tips in this bowing masterclass. Okay, so the bow hold. I'm sure you've all been taught this, but thumb and middle two fingers here, and it creates the ring. Okay? When you were younger, I, I bet you were taught Mr. Fox and all that story about the rabbit. Um, as you get to university in those uh, places, they will teach you it's called the ring hold bow because you're making a ring with these fingers here. And your, your uh, third finger goes down the side of the bow here onto the uh, frog. Little finger onto the end, nice and curved, and then you just lean your first finger down. And everything is held really, really gently, as light as a feather. I should be able to come and just lift off your fingers very, very gentle. So all you're actually doing is holding the bow balanced between your thumb and a little finger like that. That's all it is, it's a balance, it's not a grip. There's no tension there at all. Everything is nice and loose and light. So, the first activity. You're going to do a balance between your thumb and the little finger in the top half of the bow. So, making sure you're standing nice and securely, and in the top half of the bow, just put your thumb and your bent little finger on, and you're just going to go down and up on the D string. Then one by one, you can add your fingers on. And as you add your fingers on, you feel your bow gets more support. But each one's been added really gently. Exercise two. Okay, using your bow hold here. You can practice this with your arm on a table. But all you're going to do, you're going to use your fingers and you're going to go down and up with your fingers like this. Right? So you keep your wrist still and you push your fingers down and then back up. I'm going to show you this way so you can see the thumb. Keep the wrist still and the arm still, push your fingers down so your thumb straightens and then back up. And I'll show you this way as well so you can see the little finger. Down and then back up. And if you can do 10 of those without your little finger falling off, then you know that you're getting this bow hold correct. Now, if you're finding it difficult and your little finger's just falling off, it's a bit like going to the gym. You wouldn't go to the gym and pick up the largest weight possible. You have to start slowly and build up. So if you're finding that far too difficult, take some other weight of the bow off. Move up to about here. The bow is now a bit more balanced, it's a bit lighter, and you hopefully will be able to find your little finger can stay on. So do 10 of those, and then move down about half, a, half an inch, and do 10 there, and then keep moving down, and each day you'll be able to get further down before your little finger falls off. You're building up the strength in that little finger. Activity three. What I'd like you to try and do is push your bow to the left and to the right 
without moving your wrist and your arm. So you're just going to use your fingers like this. I'm going to show you from the side. So keeping my wrist still. And I'll show you from the little finger side as well. So I'm pushing my little finger out and then back in. Miss Chapel has also shown you on uh, one of the other bowing videos you can do what we call the monkey bow where you can move all the way down and then all the way back up your bow as well. Moving back up is more difficult. Okay, But the more you practice these it develops all of the finger dexterity here and helps relieve any tension in your hand. Okay, the next activity I want you to have a go at is finding the balance point in your bow. So, to do this, you're going to start with your fingers here. You can see my arm isn't moving, it's just my fingers and a slight movement of the wrist. And you work your way down the bow until the bow starts moving by itself. only achieve that if you are using that lovely bow shape and there's no tension in your fingers. As soon as you do that, everything locks here and you can't possibly get the same movement as you can with just your fingers. So that's a great activity for you to do. And you can do that in any string. And the last activity I want you to have a go at in this bowing masterclass is using this motion here. So as you get towards the tip of the bow here. Allow your fingers to move through and then change direction. And the same here. Allow your fingers to move through first and change direction. So your fingers move just before your bow moves. change bow everything is nice and loose hope you enjoyed the master class and i'll see you in the next one for vibrato take care guys see you soon and stay safe